Hey folks, you made another great selection. Uh, here is the Chap May Soldier. Uh, we <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I don't know about a great selection, but Ooh. it's an acceptable selection. That's not a Chap May Soldier. <laughs> what was this? The, this came from our this came from our bag store. of uh, Terminator Salvation figures, didn't it? Ah, that's where it came from. Yeah, right. I saw a Ninja Turtles package laying over there earlier. Yeah, did we? What this is this is definitely a Turtles toy. And you know what? In about 10 or 15 years, when you're at a flea market somewhere, just remember that strange soldier figure that the vendor couldn't identify, so they threw it in with everything else. That was a Ninja Turtles figure, and this will cause confusion for many years. So uh, here we go, folks. This is a uh, this is a foot soldier figure, uh, believe it or not. Uh, there's nothing really to... Let's just review it. Yeah, let's take a good look. Right. A good look. At ourselves. <laughs> a good look at a bad boy. <laughs> well, he's a, he's a soldier, and... Uh... He works for an organization or a clan or something that's called the Foot. So I guess he's a foot soldier. Uh, he doesn't look like any foot soldier we've ever seen before. He looks like a military guy who's gotten yeah. like a clear hockey mask and kind of mm -hmm. just went a little berserk. Yeah, he looks like a doomsday prepper, paramilitary wannabe guy yeah. uh, who's just taken it a little too far. Uh, he's gone to the flea market just, to the to the army surplus booth. Man, he, Chap May has done just he a has, great job. He has here. loaded Boy. up. I'm telling you, uh, Chap May has just outdone themselves. Well, uh, let's take a look at the sculpting. I can say for sure, without any hesitation, that he is a sculpted piece of plastic. That plastic has been sculpted mm -hmm. to make this figure. I would say that there's some PVC thrown in there. Uh, yeah, something. Uh, um, it's a little bit of garbage. I think that he was made in a factory. Yeah. Uh, well, let's take the mask off, and you can see these wonderful eyes painted on here. Look at that. Uh, he um, looks like a human. <laughs> Uh, we got kind of lucky because most of the foot soldiers looked absolutely Man. terrified. Well, I saw one today at Walmart in the display that looked, he just, his eyes were huge. He was definitely about to be killed yeah, by the turtles. Was, the turtles he weren't, not they weren't going to take mercy on this guy. No. Um, um, you know, the sculpting's not that bad. Nah. It is like, it is nearly identical to the Terminator Salvation figures, to the six inch uh, Terminator figures the Playmates did a few years ago, so he'll fit right into those. But, uh, you know, you, you see all the military stuff and it's you know it's all adequately sculpted. Uh, you know he's got the wrappings on his arms. He's got the harnesses. He got a, a pretty good vest. Um, you know all the belts and uh, uh, holsters are sculpted nicely. The knee pads are uh, are done just fine. And you know and uh, you know a lot of detail in the boots. So uh, you know it as a generic the the problem with this figure isn't um, the execution. It's just uh, it, it, as far as the sculpt is concerned. Um, it's just the concept for the film uh, is a little is was way too generic, you know, to, to to produce an interesting toy. Really, so it's not really Playmates' fault, and th that's the thing about this figure is the reason that it, it fails is because it's completely inoffensive. Mm -hmm. If there had been something like glaringly awful about the figure or like a design element that was too crazy or something like that, well, at least it would have been something. I, I sort of wish that like that they had been uh, cast in crazy purple colors. Yeah, like they just went all out. Yeah. Because this is going to be hard for Playmates to sell as a part of the Ninja Turtles line. No wonder in some of the cases they were putting this one to a case. It's yeah. not to artificially drive with a value. It's because the, yeah, they'd probably gonna only be able to sell one case. Kids aren't going to want this figure, you know. Um... As there's one great thing about this figure, I think, and uh, well, there's there's a couple of great things. Yeah. And the articulation is by far the best uh, of what we've gotten out of this line, uh, which is funny to say. You know, the worst looking <laughs> figure has the best articulation, but it's true. Here you can see this is the same scheme that the turtles use, except he's completely uninhibited. Uh, you just got a hinge located with a ball joint. The ball joint's not separate, but you can just kind of uh, rotate the leg around there and the cuff, the pelvic joint. So it really is good and very sturdy. You're not going to have to worry about breakage or anything like that. Uh, there's a hinge at the knee there. Of course, it's not double jointed. You'd be crazy to think it would be. Uh, here we have a hinge at the ankle, and it's a really good one that gets the job done for lots of different poses. Uh, I was very surprised to see that we actually had a cut at the waist, mm -hmm. which doesn't happen a lot these days with action figures. Uh, we have a pretty good hinge uh, here at the shoulder. It probably should have went a little bit further. We also have a hinge here at the elbow, and what do you know? actually give us a cut at the wrist, which is something the Ninja Turtles did not get. <laughs> kind of a shame. Now, there's something to point out. There's no cut or a swivel here at the elbow, but I would about rather have it at the wrist, honestly, so that I can do more with the weapons. Uh, here at the head, it doesn't really go up and down. Instead, we do go left or right, and I don't think it comes off nearly as easily as the turtle's heads, in case you're wondering. No. Uh, the other great thing is the accessories. So, Brandon, talk about those accessories. Yeah, he uh, not only does he have the most articulation, he comes with the most uh, accessories, and you know, which stands to reason, you, the plain uh, you have a real plain Jane figure. Uh, Playmates wants to entice people to buy it somehow, so they you know they throw in a lot of cool stuff. Um, 
Uh, one of the cool things is actually, uh, before I get into the uh, pieces themselves, is that some of the accessories um, will uh, fit onto the figure very well. There's uh, holders, there's a really cool knife, and it fits into a sheath on his back. And uh, it's a cool little uh, martial arts style dagger, but it's really fat. It's not, uh, you know, it's not a very realistic looking dagger, but it's a good little piece. And uh, there's a there's a little bit of sculpting on the handle, but it's of course it's not painted. None of the accessories are painted. And he has a, a sidearm holster uh, with a <coughs> little handgun, and uh, you know nothing fancy about it, but it's uh, perfectly well done. Uh, if you know if you've been collecting action figures, you probably got dozens of things like this around, but pretty good. Uh, he has uh, like a police taser with the cartridge uh, in it, um, and that's cool. It, it can it can go in the holster on the side too fairly well. It doesn't go in. Um, no, you kind of you sort of force it in yeah. there, but it's not. Yeah, yeah well, I wouldn't recommend. It's not really meant to be. In um, there. But you know, pretty good little piece, and uh, it fits really well in his hand. There's the little um, uh, there's the slot for the finger sculpted on. His big accessory is, of course, the assault rifle, and it's very well done. Uh, it may well have, you know, all, all, some of these could come from the Terminator Salvation line, for all I know. Uh, but, uh, you know, it looks uh, just fine. It's got the big silencer at the end, so um, may see, like, some sniper action with these guys uh, trying to take out the turtles mm -hmm. in the movie. He holds uh, all those really well. Yeah, too. yeah. Uh, the uh, hand uh, is uh, sculpted with the finger extended for the trigger, so that's always good. And then the, uh, the puzzling accessory... Uh, I mean, we we I think we've seen this. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'll just solve this mystery right away. Okay. Uh, we finally figured out what this figure is. They accidentally put it in Ninja Turtles packaging. This is a Phantom of the Opera souvenir figure. <laughs> yeah, that you, get, you can like, get on Broadway. Yeah. You like pay thirty dollars for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, these uh, uh, the some shop. of these some of the foot soldiers we've seen like in uh, images like uh, set photos mostly because we've not really seen them in the TV spots or trailers very much. Have these like weird clear masks that look like Casey Jones masks. You know, there's no. Are they? It kind of looks like the Autons from Doctor Who. Just a weird, like, plain, like, mannequin-style face. And uh, it's a good, uh, you know, it's made out of good stuff. It's it's pretty sturdy, and it fits on the head extremely well. Uh, so, uh, you know, here's a Jason X Jason figure, you know, if you need one desperately. Uh, doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I, even in the context of the movie, it's not going to make any sense. I guess it's supposed to be, like, some kind of a plexiglass uh, protective um, shield, like a, like a riot... Uh, officer shield uh, or something, but it's just it's it's real goofy looking, and uh, you know it's good to have an extra accessory, but uh, it's it's not a necessity. Here we have some quick comparisons for the foot soldier. Here he is with the original foot soldier himself. So uh, as you can see, there is no kinship. <laughs> well, uh, next we have the uh, movie star foot soldier released for Secret of the Use. And uh, there's just a little bit. I guess the. I guess there's a little bit of companionship between these two because they're human beings or supposed to be human beings. But other than that, nothing. Oh, this we don't, is a much better figure. Oh man, fantastic. I wish I had a. You can't even that. hardly move him, but still, <laughs> still you, you just the presence is there. Um, uh, we don't have a 2007 animated uh, foot soldier or a 2003 animated series foot soldier to show off, but we do have the 2012 Nickelodeon figure, a figure which I did not care for very much. His articulation. His articulation is limited and also uh, awkward. Um, a few points and uh, awkward points at that. So, um, you know, uh, it's a good it's a good looking figure, but uh, I mean, I don't like this. For instance, is more fun to play with to me the movie figure than this than this guy. I didn't. I, I honestly didn't care for him at all. So, uh, that's he's got a leg up on somebody at least. Well, that was uh, that was a figure for that sure. Was that figure. was that was an item. Mm -hmm. Uh, that may or may not be available for purchase currently. But you know, uh, it exists. For all the the bashing we did on the figure and all that, he's he's an okay little soldier figure. Yeah, he's certainly better articulated than any other figure. Yeah, you, you'll get the biggest range of movement out of him, and he comes mm. with the very most accessories by far. So you know, he's got so that sounds good. Good points. You know, um, like we said, it's, from what we can tell, it's not very movie accurate uh, mm. for some of the paint, uh, but the outfit seems to be pretty movie accurate. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I he's all right. And I wouldn't go out of my way to army build them. No, uh, I'm hoping down the line, um, if there's a second wave or like a um, some running changes, that we get uh, a later edition that's painted movie accurately with the face paint and everything. Uh, unless they do that, I'm not gonna. Uh, this is the one. I'm, this is the one only I'm going to buy for myself. So overall, I'd say the foot soldier is a solid two out of five stars. Yeah, two, two and a half. half. Yeah, I mean, I'd say know. two. Um, definitely the weakest figure. I mean, by a by a good margin. And to, um, to us, we're used to figures, you know, not having the super range of articulation because we do review a lot of, you know, children-named toys. <laughs> Even though it's got great articulation, really, you know, you can do a lot with them. 
He's still, uh, he's not where he needs to be. He's just a little plain. Yeah. And not hardly a Ninja Turtles figure. Hardly. Yeah, he's he just not got the pizzazz. He, he fits in a, he doesn't fit in the line. He, he belongs somewhere else entirely. Right. Like we said before, Terminator Salvation. Yeah, or, Terminator Salvation. Or that's the one. So, uh, if you if you love that line, you need to have some more Resistance members. Go you betcha. Army Bill. Just do it, do it. Soldiers. These are the ones that are a little gigantic. Yeah. They gave them a growth hormone. Sure. Uh, so that's it for the foot soldier. Like I said, he's okay. Yeah. But uh, definitely the last one you should worry about picking up. If you're trying to be a completionist, Absolutely. you should, you know, you should get him as one of the first ones because clearly he he's yeah, only one to a case and a lot of uh, regular cases. So you want to grab him for that reason. Uh, if you're being selective, you don't have to get him at all. No. So. And on top of that, I think that he'll have no appeal with kids either. So yeah, you know, yeah. this is if you're looking for a birthday present, this is not no, the don't, one to don't get. Don't do this one. The kid won't recognize it. No. But uh, that's it, folks. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. So, uh, Check out our other Ninja Turtles reviews. Yeah. If they're not up now, they'll be up soon. If you need any bells stolen off of a mannequin, this ain't the guy to do it. No. <laughs>